This video has been re-uploaded after a few adjustments. Thank you for your patience. What is up guys, Son of Beast here, and this is the first game ever of NBA 2K21. As we were seeing new players on each team, but some franchise players are traded. But for now, for this season, we're going to see which one comes out a best player ever that could go on and off the court. So first up, well I'm just going to start off with game one at this point. Because I have restarted each game and I will see what happens, what will we have got here. First two game we have is Milwaukee Bucks against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Now, of course though, Giannis Antetokounmpo has just streaked out four wins in a row for each season. But Minnesota Timberwolves only had two wins for this season. But the question is... Can he try to play it again and take the win over the Bucks by Anthony Edwards? If so, then they were got the win and the first loss will be, be the Bucks. If they cannot beat the Bucks, then Milwaukee will take five streaks in a row. This might be something tough that nobody has ever seen it before. It's going to be very challenging by those teams from Michigan to West Point, from, uh, from each two to connection of the state. Minnesota and Wisconsin. Those are the only two that are connection, but we are just seeing things coming along right now. Hope you enjoyed your Thanksgiving special of the series that I always been looking for. And we are officially ready to start our thing, I'm sorry, the, the Christmas of our holidays. Inside and outside the house, yep, it's coming along very nicely. You might see the background here too. Here are, uh, here are the starting lineups for the Bucks. We have Drew Holiday, D. DiVincenzo, Chris Middleton, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Brooke Lopez, Pat Connington, Portis, Forbes, Craig, DJ Austin, DJ Wilson, Tantius Antetokounmpo by the brother, and Nuara will be the new player on the court. For, for the rookie of the year. Rookie season, should say. Not the rookie of the year. And on the Minnesota Timberwolves side, we have Ricky Rubio, D'Angelo Russell, and Ed, Anthony Edwards, Juan Hernan Gomez, Carl Anthony Towns, Michael Beasley, Reed, Akoji, Culver, Ed Davis, and the rest of them will be on the, on the bottom for sure as we were just taking a look. Anyways... This one is going back out to Target Center for the first start of Season 5 on NBA 2K21. A lot of broadcasting going out here, just amazing it gets, but we're just looking to see who is going to win for Season 5 and the presentation of the NBA. But right now, we're seeing some great players. Giving us the rundown. I don't know what to say. But here's David Aldridge on the sideline. Well, Kevin and guys, the NBA is a shoe culture. None is more popular than the Kobe 4. Originally released in 2009, last season almost a quarter of all NBA players warned them. And that's not just a tribute to the Mamba, but a testament to a design that has stood the test of time. P.J. Tucker called them the best hoop shoe ever. Strong praise. Kevin? Thanks, David. Thank you so much, David. But the starting group, we're showing you just no sides of the cloth. But there's much more that we were just looking for. Unfortunately, we only have one that has been changing out just a bit further. But for, but for, um, for a paycheck, it might be too soon if we see Ricky Rubio back for Phoenix Suns. Well, he tried it, but it didn't work out anyway. I will just leave it off from here. Here's a tip-off. The Bucks wins the tip-off as we start our first game of the season in, in NBA 2K21. And, and remember, this, uh, this NBA basketball season will start on the, win on the day of December. I'm not sure what they start, but probably uh, mid-December. If so, 
then they might have it. If not, then they will they will happen to here on next year, starting from the early January 2021 when the new year comes up here. Hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. We hope uh, you hope you don't eat too much turkey. Probably not. Hans de Kubo takes a re first rebound right now in the season after he was def definitely swapped out of here at, and definitely got, got beaten up by Butler in the second round of the playoffs. This wasn't the only first time that nobody has seen before. But, uh, but, uh, but maybe his next season he might be coming back already. We're not sure how well he could do. Edwards, first time, nice. He's got a first bucket of the point. That'll be the first bucket for the uh, Minnesota Timberwolves. Just about under six minutes to go. Hanson Kumbo looking around right now. He finds Middleton right on the on the middle. Brooke Lopez almost taken a steal by uh, Carl Anthony, but it's shots good for Lopez. He's right at home, extremely comfortable. Lopez. Right down the other way, we got Russell. Russell, guarded by DiVincenzo, screen on Hernan Gomez, free, good, and that will be the first bucket for the Timberwolves, Hernan Gomez has got his first bucket of the night for three, but not only for two, that takes it out for the lead, five to four. First quarter coming quick, with just five minutes left, Lopez looking around over again, Anshikupo helps him out. Reversed it. He rebounds it again, but they moved the ball quickly without being rejected. Holiday, Holiday will first shoot. The shot, shot for Holiday is no good. Rubio will take it from here. A lot of man to cover in here. Russell putting it around. Hernan Gomez another screen. D'Angelo Russell didn't have a shot, a chance for three to put it up on the board. Remember, he won the skills challenge back in 2016. I mean, he's a seven-footer for sure. He's got guard skills, too. Now, Yeah, I forgot about that one here. Skills challenge, I think that's the only one that we remember here. But the first foul was going to be on Anthony Edwards, his first starter of the game. As you know, Middleton's kind of dangerous to be on the court. Be a lot of forcing contacts, a lot of like uh, a lot of fouls are pushing up on the board. You know, it definitely caused out of trouble. Two shots for Middleton. First shot for Middleton is good. Boy, for me, it's really been fun watching the evolution of Chris Middleton. I mean, a rangy two guard who can really stuff the stat sheet. One more to go. As both free throws for Middleton is good and has first two bucket points for Middleton. He's locked in from there. Kind of locking up already, but some mans are definitely doing good. Ricky Rubio finally puts a first pointer on the board. Assist by D'Angelo Russell. Dying up to look for to look for an open shot, but his first time with the Phoenix wasn't just enough to make a to make a explaining to do. A lot of loans are putting up here to just, just go quickly out of concern. Back to, Back to Middleton. Only under five. Three for Middleton. It's rebounded by Conch uh, DeCubo. Drew Holiday will go in. He drives it in, and that's good. And always notice uh, that Conch DeCubo is getting very well, but he's the king of the buck. Don't let him lose the unfocus right now. You can definitely tell that he's been knocking it out. Always a superstar. Russell outside. Coming in, the paint. D'Angelo Russell didn't make it in. Eight to seven to score. 305 left to go. Brooke Lopez trying to look for a man. Bounce pass back to Lopez. He moves it off to Holiday. Shoots up. A baseline from the shot is good. And Drew Holiday has got four points right now on the board. 2.44 left to go. And Timberwolves are going to call their first timeout of the game. 
Charles Oakley would cook for the player. And Akoji, we're still looking for, for him to, uh, to give that a shot. If he can take it from here. We're not really sure what's happening right now, but we're, we're definitely taking a look around and see what we have here. Well, what was the special? But maybe something special out of the cannon. There might be a lot of choices going on on the board. Anyway, I'm just gonna uh, make sure I have it. Make sure I have it right. I'm just not gonna like. Uh, we're just gonna put it up like. Uh, let's put up two to three zones so we can get this one correctly. Go patient on offense. Just uh, limit the transaction. Transition if there is much as we can. We have new changes here for the Timberwolves. Right now from Milwaukee, just looking out here, just better. Lopez, all four across the down. Craig, Portis, and Connaughton, and Forbes are on the court. A Koji on the on the three. Reed, Davis, Akoji, BC, and Culver are all switched up in the starting five. Austin Kubo, basket Forbes. Whoa! Moves around over Culver, and that'll be his first basket for tonight. Deceptively strong. He can finish. He's kind of strong to get there. Culver passes up to Reed. Oh, he got a tip. That'll be the first block, and that was Craig that puts him up and makes a shot block attempt, and he finally had it done. Two minutes left. Bounce pass. And we got a jump ball between Okoji and Craig. A fantastic block here. I love it here. That's a great first attempt to make the block for the defensive team. And they're doing it really well. A great save that time by Antetokounmpo. So this is jump ball. Let's see who takes it from here. Milwaukee Bucks wins the tip off with a jump. To the wing on the left. Craig coming around. Under five. Over to flow. And a Koji takes the rebound as the Bucks missed again. Beasley up in the ball. Hans de Kubo pulls it up with another rebound. That will be six rebounds for for Hans de Kubo to pull it off. 131 left here in the opening quarter. And we got an offensive team helping. Portis. Off to a great start and assist by Anstakupo. This run is like fantastic. Minnesota Timberwolves are trailing by seven. No reaching out this point. That was Beasley that puts him up two pointer. A lot of, lot of explosions coming up here right in the paint, making it easy. Now we have under a minute left to go, 14 to 9. Oh, Forbes coming in. The floater won't go in. Culver passes up to a Koji. Oh, got a good rebound. And they're trying to fight for it, but they could not handle the rebound. Following the shot by a Connaughton looking around. Finds Forbes. Finds Forbes. He passes up to Craig. Six on the shot clock. Reed will take a first rebound look. Under 20 seconds. Over with the shooting foul. Oh, the putback on Davis is good. And we got a first one for Anthony. For Ed Davis to be playing up for a rebound. This is the kind of play that we nobody has seen it before. Three seconds. Portis with the shot. And that will be a close call. That will be the end of the first quarter. 16 to 11. We're still trying to look for a better defense, defensive rebound, but the offensive just couldn't start at all. They're going to try to give it up, but we'll come back and see what we have on the next portion. Let's hear what the interview says for Giannis Antetokounmpo after the last season. Give my slow down a lot for me. I'm able to know where my team is going to be. I'm able to get to my spots and know I know my spots and uh, I don't score on accident no more. I score because I know okay I'm gonna get to that spot, try to make a play for my teammate or make a play for myself. Well, this is more more common about the about Giannis Antetokounmpo since last season. 
he wasn't able to shoot himself that well because uh, his teammate just regrets himself that Giannis could do better if he could try it up there. Culver first got his three bucket of the game after her man Gomez just scored in the first period. But here's a second second start for the uh, for the Timberwolves to put up the great position. Conate rebounded by Antetokounmpo. Augustine just got traded from the uh, from the Magic's and now wants to face it off in the Bucks. And it's Reed at the five spot. Two man covering, and it's defended, and Culver's got it rebounded. Culver, Vasso, Koji. Oh, Koji, the first one to get the dunk, and he's finally pulling himself up there without Ashley Kupo scoring the dunk. Quarter number two, we're about a minute in. Uh, that was assist by uh, by Culver. Oh, oh no! I was officially going to say that Anthony Cooper was going to make that good time, but not for long. He just had that point scored. Timeout called by the Timberwolves. And stopped the clock at like under six minutes to go. Mascot, Crunch. As, uh, as, uh, as he's trying to let everyone take the making the noise he makes. And probably he would have been on the court just as soon as he can get. So that's the one, Craig, that was, um, that was traded off. With from the Nuggets that we all that we already know, and that was Portis that was we traded off from the Funders that I noticed. He's showing to be. But a lot of showing this time. Um, I'm gonna sub out Anthony Kumbo for now. Let him uh, let him get some energy, and and a newer, and I'll uh, and I'll have Middleton right on the board and give himself a try. But keep it the way it is. And the Bucks with some changes. Brook Lopez has checked in for Portis. Brook Lopez Portis. checked in for Portis. And it's Holiday in for Pickens. Middleton for, uh, for Giannis. And Drew Holiday subbing in for uh, for Augustine. Not Augustine. For three. Edwards buries it from the three in the middle. Nice. Here's the three pointer that we all looking for. Here's Drew Holiday that we are we all seen it before. Passes off to Craig. Up and over. Oh, no rebound for the Lopez. But the but the reverse lab went gone too sloppy. And it's Russell Craig with the with the rebound. Craig was just trying to say that the why this happened with the ball. I had it hold on. But the reverse layup got in the way by the defender. Craig missed the shot. 19-18, the close call, and just five minutes left to go. Ricky Rubio coming in the paint. Towns with the shot. And it scores right in the point in the right from the baseline. And it seemed like they couldn't get in. Augustine looking around himself again. Here's Lopez. Momentum starting to shift. Looking for some first first win against the Bucks for tonight. Lopez up. Fights his way through to through to, through to paint and he scores again. Lopez not to be denied. Not not yeah he's not denied already but his brother was missing and he might be trading off to another team. Whoa Lopez with the block. Thanks to Craig, who just realized that you just that he just knocks him out so early. Very good job. This the holiday. Craig moving along to Middleton. Up and over, and a shot was off on the rim and it missed. Edwards and he finishes the dunk well by himself. A lot of difference are just choosing on it. In and out, in and out, all the way down, you know. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see. Middleton fight, fighting his way. Oh, wait, Augustine. Holiday looking around. Craig for three. Not tied up. Hernan Gomez with takes the rebound. Watching those two players on each each guys. Rubio to Edwards. Another three for Edwards, and that'll be changed changed up. A two streak row for Edwards to start his rookie season. Timeout will be played. Will be on the Bucks. 
and we're going to let him change the boat a little bit on offense because this did not work out right. We're just going to uh, flip it off into flip push. That might be a better idea for a good choice. Craig, I'll slap out. And uh, yeah, if, if he's good to go, then we can bring it back in. But not yet. This time, uh, his brother, Jarius Antetokounmpo, will give it a shot. And then I will sub out uh, DJ Augustine and bring back Forbes in, because that's the only, only player I can remember. Another substitution here. Territorious Antetokounmpo will give him a shot at this course because he's he, we never seen this guy playing yet. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Augustine. Forbes passing along to DiVincenzo. Trying to go for the screen. DiVincenzo. He's off on that one. He's off on the shot. Didn't even hesitate to slow down. Inside. Gomez with the with the dunk and a assist by Edwards. Gaining a lot of point on the ability. Hernan Gomez keeps the dunk on. Here is Forbes. And it's Lopez. And it's Lopez on the other hand. Nice. Brooke Lopez is yeah, no trouble at all. Only six points for uh, Brooke Lopez, with just 2.23 left to go in, his, in the first half. Rubio to Russell. Pass to Edwards, number three, and a streak, and it's off loose, and Edwards loses his streak for his rookie season of three. Pass to Forbes, over, over Towns, it's projected. Towns has got his first block of the game. Oh, and Brooke Lopez got two times blocked again. But that will keep Minnesota's ball alive with us under a minute and 30, 53 seconds to go. A few changes for the Timberwolves. Over Beasley, Koji and Reed are subbed in. Got a lot of streak here for Lopez to keep it on with. Finds uh, Towns. Towns, high post. Towns trying to go for a high post. Culver for two. And that will be a good shot to score. Assist by Carl Anthony Towns. Another streak in the run for uh, for for finding an open teammate. If it turns if it turns out to be that small and difficult. Here's Portis. Minute, under a minute and a half to go. Trying to go for another look. Oh, Brooke Lopez! Wow, a cut in and a drive. That was like his first scoring bucket without Ancho de Cupo. Maybe his brother Ancho de Cupo can give him a shot. We don't know. We gotta give us. We gotta give him a good look. Oh, his brother didn't really seem like he wasn't gonna go for it, but he definitely tried it. But they got too late. Just a little slightly late, not too late, but slightly late. That's what I was just saying. Here's DiVincenzo. Bounce past the Forbes, under one minute. 50 seconds left in the first half. Going around with the spin move. A by the what a nice team. rebound here from the Minnesota Timberwolves to keep it alive. Right move, I believe, right now. And one for Porter. For, for banking shot in. Porter's with the first personal foul. A lot of changes of Carl pulling out by Culver, and he putting up a big shot at this attempt. Doing really well at that point. This might be their first time to go for the win, and the Bucks might lose a streak on their on their fifth season. Just about 40 seconds to go here in the first half. Culver will only take one shot ahead. And there's Giannis, he's back on the court after his brother regret, regrets to like sit out of the game. Well, the ceiling is really high for Jared Culver, I mean, this guy's already a star. Kubo needs to give it a shot to go through. Oh! Oh! 
What a way to see that coming. Just like Brooke Lopez. 30 seconds to go. Holder trying to look around. I thought there is another shot here. I thought we got another dunk. Reed's got his first bucket of the night. Assist by Colbert. On the interior. Only 20 seconds left. DiVincenzo. No problem on the three for the, for the Greek freak. And he's not quitting here. He never he never gives up. 10 seconds. A lot of hard contact on the defense, but only five seconds to go. DiVincenzo going for it, but that buzz beater won't be counted, and that will be the end of the first half. Minnesota taking a lead, 37 to 29. We're just not an incredible run at this point. Now it's time to go courtside by David Aldridge. David, what do you have here? Thanks, Kevin. Here with Coach Mike Budenholzer. Coach, probably not the defensive effort you were hoping for thus far. Yeah, no, our defense isn't where it needs to be. I think they're getting open looks. We're over shifting, and then we're not committing to shooters. Uh, just not a very good defensive effort so far. Mike, thanks very much for your time. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Thank you, David. We'll be right back with the second half. Once the halftime is over, we will get back in and see what we have. Welcome back to uh, the, to NBA 2K21 for the first time ever in Season 5. Minnesota Timberwolves are just streaking out on the first half. They are, they are blasting out the best time as we see Anthony Edwards just scoring out for his point of his first rookie season. Ten points on the board, one rebound and one assist on each team. Have played really good that time, but the second half starts now. Let's see what Ricky Rubio and his fellow teammate can do with Carl Anthony Towns, if there is one. We're not sure what we're gonna do. Rubio, Edwards for three, and no, he did not make it again. That's another two misses for Edwards. Holiday, and he counts that basket in, and that will be Ricky Rubio's first foul in the first half, second half. Holiday can find the spaces inside. I'll tell you, Drew Holiday never seems to like, uh, he wasn't quitting the game, but the Pacers, he could have been back again. Well, we were talking about this before. It didn't really caught off by that moment. It did not really caught off at that moment. It just went too far. And that's what we were always expecting. One shot right now will be Holiday. We know how important, we know how important this guy is. You know Drew Holiday? Definitely what he was playing before after he was able to play with the Pelicans. But he definitely got tricked, switched it up by by a new player, Zion Williamson. He never caught off real. Never missed coming up for the Timberwolves, and now we got Middleton on the court. Wasn't able to play in the first half, but there might be much more to find somebody in the round. Fast Ox to Kupo. Here comes Holiday. Oh, and we got a contacting foul going on with the defensive team. There's one for Ricky Rubio, and now we have one for D'Angelo Russell. A first foul called on the second half. Pulled up too hard, and it was slumped off. For that time, back on the back on the free throw line will be Holiday. Stop the clock at six six minutes and eight seconds. They are putting back on that point. They're trying to go for they're trying to go for the win. First, first free throw where Holiday is good. Definitely has the respect of the locker room. Holiday is someone that players enjoy playing with. One shot left. Two free throws will send in for Drew Holiday, and that will be down to three for Milwaukee. Russell trying to look for an open man. 
He only got six minutes on the court. Edwards scoring for her again, and finally did it again. That was the assist by Russell. Fourth assist this game. That's like incredible. Hopefully, it might turn out to be five assists. Earning Gomez covering the kick out to Holiday. Holiday passes it on to Kupo. Rolls it up, and oh, he almost slipped over that time, but he recovered it. Nine points. That's a great, uh, that's a great, uh, great offensive look. I really like to hear what they're about to say. Carl Anthony Towns pulls it off. Timberwolves are still on a lead, but they put up by six. A lot of fighting going on over here. Five fifteen left. Over in the corner, on the Kubo. On the Kubo. Bounce pass to DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo against Russell. Oh, 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 oh. He almost, he almost went off again. But not that time. Brooke Lopez has got a point. That's 10 points for Brooke And that's 10 points for Brooke Lopez. Assist by DiVincenzo. Almost went for a free second violation on offense. Drills again for three, and Edward could be her first rookie to go for a player of the game if he tries to find a good rebound, assist, or some great pass moments and a defensive recover. Here's Ante Takubo. Oh! <laughs> Another two dunks for Austin Kupo, and he puts it in time to go reverse to go for the dunk. Well, this is the third quarter, and the second half is still continuing. Russell trying for three, but he recovered by Towns. And a lot of defenses are trying to put up some, some uh, contested shots. Middleton rolling around. Only about four minutes. Middles it on the wing. Edwards defending. Six, Six on the shot clock. Here's DiVincenzo. Good. That's a good pointer right next to the paint. Tell you what, they're doing their best to cut down the lead with some smart offense here. Ricky Rubio still looking around, but the first they will call a timeout, which is 3:41 left to go. Bucks are still making some comebacks here, but the Timberwolves aren't just enough aren't enough to take it over again. And we'll take a break from here when we come back. We're back on man to man, and we got some few players on the court that are still trying to give it up, but not. They're not going to try to give up on that one, but both the man to man to see who they got covered. Giannis trying to look for uh, trying to look for the players to uh, to grab their man to man, but cannot leave them alone. And another miss goes out by Minnesota, missing another streak for Edwards. And here we go, two times again. That's Giannis with 13 points, just down by one. After assist by DJ Augustine, Reed trying to go for three, rebounded, and Towns will rebound it in to go with another point. I tell you what, it's it's almost like stealing to watch. Augustine still looking around right now, wishing they would play against Eric Bledsoe. But it won't be happening again. Portis coming in. Trying to go around Towns, but the Towns just got it into its way. Austin Kupo, no, no attempt for three, and it never never changed the ability. Rubio. Rubio still looking out to scan the court. Beats up the Towns. Count the basket for Towns. DJ Augustine takes his first personal foul as we got a couple points for first and second half. And now we're going to make some changes here for the Timberwolves. Reed will come out. New player will be coming back in. And Davis, Akoji, Beasley, and Culver. One shot for Carl Anthony Towns. He's on, he's on a streak right now. He's just finding something out that he has never done before. The first Towns, the first one, never got started, but it definitely did happen already after some losses by the, by, uh, by, you know, uh, I totally forgot what to say about that, I don't know. 
Rebound by Portis. Oh, oh, what a stop by Carl Anthony Towns. And here we go in again. Davis has it all. Timberwolves are keeping it strategy again. Anshi Kubo trying to go for a block again, but this didn't happen. Unbelievable. Only three dunks allowed him for Anshi Kubo. He definitely just wanted to go that fast, but how fast can he go? Nothing surprising about that, guys. We've come to expect plays like that from him. And Beasley trying for three. But they missed again. Ashikupo pulling out just about 11 rebounds to go for stop and go. Portis coming around. Ashikupo trying to help him out. Oh, yes! What assist by Portis and a good shot here for Roger Jacupo. A lot of superb moments at this point. Looking very nicely done. Beastly against Connington. Connington tried to go for the shot, but he never had that choice. Towns for three. And that's another one for the for the best moment that ever gets. Timeout will be going by by the Milwaukee. Timeout called the Bucks. Just about a minute and four seconds to go. We got a lot of changing to do when we come up right on defense. We got some bucks changing right now at this point. As for Chris Milton, will be subbing in, subbing out. As Forbes and Craig are subbed in. Anjadikubo looking around again, under one minute to go in the third. Up and overhead by Forbes. Jump it in. Oh, we got a contacting foul on Colbert. His first personal foul almost turned into a travel. But I thought, he's, I thought he's got a lot of time already. I thought this turns into travel. But anyways, Clover has got another foul. Forbes will take two shots. changing going on. Forbes it. makes the first free for all. It's really interesting to note that Forbes went to the same high school in Detroit as a certain friend of ours. I think the guy's name I'm thinking about here is um, Chris Weber. Oh yeah, Chris Weber. The one from Uncle Drew that part. That's the one he was, you know. Well, Forbes makes two free throws which is 47.4 seconds. 55 to 50 is your score. Colbert trying to look around the, the open player on offense. Colbert's going for three. And then again, Minnesota has got it all. Giannis looking for another shot, but nothing kills the momentum. Oh, Towns almost went turned it over, but Towns took away from the Milwaukee ball. But he recovered anyway. Just saved this time to get back in the court without going out of bounds. A lot of fighting rebound. Giannis does it again. Two man cover. Forbes are three. Six it in. That's a number three. Seven points for Forbes as he puts it up. One second. Buzz Peter went short. Third quarter has ended. 58 to 53 is your score. A lot of players are going hard. Back to back insanity. Just another, just another great solid, solid deep and great open great strategy on offense. Fourth quarter will be on its way. Don't go anywhere. Three quarters has just gone and played. Now we're ready to start off the final quarter as we turn up the game to just give up the final quarter to finish it off. Bucks trail by five, and we are set for for their last position for each team. Portis, no way. Just made another three attempting. A lot of comeback rallies going up for the Milwaukee. Just right behind, Culver passes up to Okoji. Koji, oh my, and then 
wins, but the rebound, he did show up. And I mean, Okoji definitely wasn't able to say, say that in there. Someone rebound, and then in her name, Gomez just showed up. Lopez going again. Screen on Lopez, just only six. Cuts it in the paint, and Craig will take another pointer. Field goals for percentage, 52% was on Milwaukee. Minnesota, only 43 for the Bucks. Koji tried to go for an open three-pointer, but decided not to. But he's going to go take an offensive look. Beasley with a clean shot, and that will be assist by a Koji. And that's what he was talking about. Try to let it fly again. No problem with that. As a matter of fact, I hate to see teams get conservative with the lead. As long as they're good. Shot. And that turned it over to a free second, no shot. Continue to take Just one more block and again, as we already know that Brooke Lopez did send out two blocks in the row. But only outstanding incredible defensive performance. And that was a lot of bunch of uh, defensive uh, rebound going on by each by each team. Steven Chenders checked in for for Porus. Towns right from the corner. Final quarter of coming in, and he had no problem at all. Just go up and over the drive. 14 points for Carl Anthony Towns. Eight points in the paint. Right wing. Right wing is Craig. Portis with the screen. Craig almost went bottom up, but it definitely wound up missing. Oh, oh my goodness! Edwards just made a drive look lean dunk without Giannis onto the Cupo. Holiday again. Another shot good. Assist by DiVincenzo. 11 points for now for Drew. Holiday. But good thing we don't need two holidays because it honestly doesn't need any. Oh! Oh, hit the bad angle at that point. Did not save the good rebound. Resetting it up. Going for a motion. Reset it. Holiday looking around. Off in a screen. Rebounded. Portis recovered the recovered the ball and he puts a rebound. In excellent motion. Timberwolves leading by five. As the Timberwolves lead by five, and it comes down to like four minutes to go. Russell looking over. And that will that will put up a reach and foul for DiVincenzo. Almost put it out of bounds. Craig will sub out as Middleton will sub out for Portis too. Ostakumba will sub in. Russell and Michael Beasley are subbed out. Rubio and Russell are and Russell is switched over to the shooting guard. Edwards, a three. It's good. And you can just see his confidence. Lot of clean looking for the rookies to start off this season. Not just the only franchise player. Ashley Kupo looking around. Trying to go for the fake. Oh boy! Wow, he puts the pressure on him and then Gomez is say, is that what I'm looking for? You're you're almost broken my ankles. Hernan Gomez only had seven points, but didn't wind up to be thinking about going for another one. 19 shot, 19 points for uh Ashtakupo. Kicks it out to Rubio. Rubio for the three. And again, another three with a push off with a save. Just getting hyped up. To the paint. Pass up to Ashtakupo. Ashtakupo again. Motion going over. Middleton for three. And a great comeback for Middleton. And assist by Ashtakupo. Nice job for Middleton to be back on the court, scoring points. But other, other players are going over again, just like Carl Anthony Towns. Oh, here we go. No way. Are you kidding me? 
How is this Ozzy Kumpo know he's gonna give it a shot? That was easy for him. They can just they can try doing something else. Let's go. I like offense. Great D for Ozzy Kumpo to pull it around, and great rebound for Milton. And he's got to find other ways. Holiday a little bit off, but the foul is going on. Edwards, his second personal foul. First of all, uh, first of all, Oski Kumpo was just knocking out just a big star. What a great, what a great drive motion pulling up for for the dunk. But now Edwards is just facing it off, and the coach is like a little desperate for the rookie to be starting off. Mike Budenholzer just, just, just staying silent for once. Two shots will be off for Drew Holiday. And the first shot for Holiday is good. Coming up on uh, the next game, we have is the Rockets facing against the Cavaliers in Houston. James Harden and Russell Westbrook still continue to do a dynamic duo. But there might be some announcement if one of each players, like James Harden or Russell Westbrook, might be switching. He's off on the second. Second shot, no good for Drew Holiday, but that only takes one to go up by six. But now it goes away to be up by eight. Two minutes left to play in the fourth quarter. Anshita Kumpo rolling again. Chape pulling it over. Anshita Kumpo helping him out. Over Edwards. And DiVincenzo knocks out Anshita Kumpo's rebounding ball. Edwards again saving three. Since it looks like a halftime is just pulling up again. He could be the he could be the player of the game, best player of the game. Edwards knocks it off. Who's gonna get the ball next? Oh, he knocked over on the Kumpo. Oh, you can't just take him out, the, the, the Greek freak. You can't take out the rookie himself. He knows he can do that better. Only the second to last time out will be the Bucks, and that will be the end of the game. Rook Lopez will be subbing out. We'll sub out for now. Nora will give it a shot. DiVincenzo will be subbing out. And I'm gonna bring out, uh, bring back, um, I don't know what you call that, but, uh, but that's what we need to know. And bring uh, Connington back in. Anshita Kumpo's gonna be subbing out because he's out of breath. Giving him a lot of time off of DJ Wilson will be subbing in. And finally, DJ Augustine. That's all we have. And now it's time for our, for our player of the game, brought to you by New Balance, Carl Anthony Towns. And his focus, guys. Yeah, sorry, Anthony Edwards. Uh, we'll get you there next time. But uh, only Anthony, well, only Carl Anthony Towns knows his deal once he has his career pulling up with a high strength ability. And that's what he needs to do is to keep running right in this game. DJ Augustine will keep it up again. Whoa, almost pushed the foul off, but the Timberwolves will call their second to last time out. And we're going to make some changes here on defense. And the Timberwolves call time to go for a half court press if there is one. May not be enough one, but maybe half court trap will do. No changes for this yet. Just about a minute and 16 to go. Carl Anthony Towns, two man cover. Here's Ryan Gomez, and we got a dunk, and it's good. DJ Wilson didn't seem to care, didn't start off that well on the fourth quarter, but the clock has stopped at a minute and 10 to go. 
Renee Gomez has finally got his points back after after he was refusing to do it again. But he never just got complaint if he wants to keep it up. One shot left for Hernan Gomez. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one. It was and a streak right now that turns out to be just right was Anthony Edwards after losing a streak. But for long, he continues to refresh it, and he does it again. And Augustine kicks to Wilson. DJ Wilson will give it a shot. Pass up to Connaughton. Here's Connaughton. A minute left. If Augustine, three off is no good. Last possession for the uh, for the Timberwolves. Second to last. If uh, if it's more. 41 seconds to go, only 10. And D'Angelo Russell just ducks it down and it was dumb. It was a focused, concerted effort. Last possession for the Milwaukee. Time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback? Diminished. And Connaughton, can he do it? Yes! He finally got his point on the board and he's got his first bucket of three. For the box. Now we got a blocking foul called on DJ Augustine, his second personal foul. And the clock is stopped at like 21.4 seconds to go. Shot clock is off. One on two. Two on one will be Ricky Rubio. Just that simple. The first one, first one falls in. Last changes for the Timberwolves. Four guys are subbing out right now. Noel, McDaniels, Lehman, and, and Reed is back in. One shot left for Rubio. The second free throw is good. The clock is winding down. Last possession for the box. Augustine passes to Connaughton. Connaughton rolling in. Oh, he made it that time. We know he's going to be putting it in. That shot is good. Reed takes a foul. Worked off of it to get a perfectly clean look there. And we only got one change left for 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 the Timberwolves. Noel switches over to point guard as Michael Beasley has checked in. Connaughton with one shot. Connaughton just made it no problem. Only six points for now in the fourth quarter. One last possession for the Timberwolves. Five seconds. And that means Timberwolves had made three wins in a row. The streak for the Bucks is over. Final score, 90 to 78 is your is your final. As the Bucks just made an upset and they lost the streak, four streaks in a row for about four seasons. Now let's head over to David Aldridge on the sideline. Thanks a lot, Kevin. Ricky, did you like the way you guys were going offensively tonight? Yeah, we started getting very slow, we can't just start like that, but after that we we just get shots and we make the shots and we make the shots, we, we're a good team. Yeah, that opens up the whole floor, Ricky. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. David. Thank you, David. Thanks for joining us for the first game of Season 5 of NBA 2K21. We will get some best players to see what we have here so far, and we will find out who has the best to be in the next game. A lot of great deflections, a lot of great rebounding, and dunking over Giannis. That's, that's insane. Nobody has ever seen that before. I, I did not know. No, not hitting on the ball with the dunk. You can't just do that. That's how, that's how rude that will be. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the first game. Second game will be the, Rock, will be the Cavaliers versus the Rockets at Houston, showing you with no sight. And then the third game will be the Lakers versus the Funders at OKC. Well, folks, that's going to be the end of the first game. I hope you all enjoy your, uh, your special uh, new season 
of the of this game of NBA. Look out! Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see some other parts, also including season four last year of NBA 2K20, 19, 18, or 17. It doesn't matter which one. And with that being said, thank you for joining us. Until next time, peace out, bitches, for as a while as the NBA 2K21 dial.